Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. What up, Cud Buds? Oh, I can't dig. Oh, we're hungry. Oh, I am inspired, though. The good news is that we don't need dig anymore. I mean, maybe we do. I I see four tiles that say otherwise, but... Mm, yeah, but it's compacted bone. You don't actually need to be able to dig through it. It's very fragile wall. Fair enough. Uh... But maybe you want to decide for yourself on the next floor. You can just whip up a quick I, meal and then, uh, without an effect. Croc. Anyway. Croc turkey. Um, we're inspired, so you want to try something fun or? Oh yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Uh, let's do some bone meal now that we have 35 of that. Oh, uh, yeah, we can't do drop a nectar until you're not inspired, basically. Um, we're not going to use skulk. Let's do bone meal. I always like hulk. Um, what else you got? We got crab jerky. We got crack jerky. We got grape moss. We got yuckweed. We got gas. We got a horse shrooms. Mm. We got face silk. We got cycle gland paste. We got bop cheek. We got pickles. Maybe we got mashed leg. Maybe bop cheek. I don't know. Where's our Hulk? We, we, do we have any more? Uh, we didn't run out of that. Did we? We did. Ooh. Yes, we did. Wow. Um, and, do, and then. Okay, do bone meal and wild rice and, um, I don't know, mashed lag. Why not? It's a good one. It's going to be a strange one, though. Bone meal, mashed lag, and wild rice. I eat it. 2 AV, 4 willpower, electric assist, plus 4 willpower, electric I damage. Guess I guess it was mm. bop cheap at the wild rice. That top one's very good. That bottom one is also pretty good. Uh... Oh, that middle one would actually pretty good be, be be pretty good if we were using electrified on our mace. But I'm not going to push that at all. Um, yeah, let's go for the top one. Easy and clean. That man's diced leg inside of chopped lightning and bony kugel. I love a kugel. <laughs> love a kugel. Do my kugels every day. All right. So we are up, off to the second floor of Tomb of the Years. So, uh, welcome to Golgotha Part 2. The Golgotha thing. Mm -hmm. What do you mean there's a snapjaw? Where the hell did the snapjaw come from? Hello. They're friends. He's chill. What They're up? a mechanimous convert. He's got a book. He's got a, crema a canticles chromaic. Why? Let's trade him. Why? Let's give him a gun. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Hey there, mister. Want to trade that book for a gun? It's a book for a gun program. Looks like you're Fine. not shooting enough. Seems to me you could be shooting more. Wouldn't you love a lacquered semi-automatic pistol? I... This is a fun bit, but why? I don't know. It's a book, man. I love books. Um, it's... I mean, it's a mechanimous book. You won't even get that much experience for it. Boy. Yes. Hands. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I love this. I'm, I'm going to go up. Yeah, go ahead. Try going uh, north or south, by the way. Too late. Too late. Why? Because there's fans and they'll blow me back? Yeah. Wait, what? I guess they're blowing. Oh, don't do that, actually. Don't don't walk in the east, because I just noticed what's going to happen there. You will get blown, and then you're going to get dumped into a chute. <laughs> Very clever. 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 Clever trap. All right. Anything look familiar? Oh, wow. Hated by cats. More cat rep. Also, or a Taffian church rep. We definitely want to kill that thing. That person. All right. We're going to have to. They're in our way. Oh, they... Mm -hmm. Apparently, we're on good terms with them. Um, They're neutral, at the very least. Yeah... They're being robbed currently by that lad. And also, that catapult is about to nuke them from orbit. 
There's really fun things happening right now. Um, Should I shoot them? I would say let's deal with the catapult first because they're going to be making things more difficult for you. The catapult is... That thing that looks this... like a... Uh, yeah. He's also neutral. Artillery. Okay. Um, they won't be neutral to you once you start making enemies to that implanted pilgrim. Mm -hmm. So we... Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting problem. I, I We can probably kill the catapult faster than we can the implanted pilgrim. So I'd say we should go over there and like beat them. Beat them down. And then... Uh, Likely the pilgrim. Yeah. So the the catapult was just attacking that thing that was stealing from the guy. Yeah, and you have taken the artifact that they stole from the guy, so now you have effectively taken the thing that. I wonder what it was. Let's have a look real quick. Flashbang. Oh, nice. Really, really, not nothing, honestly. All right. So you want me to kill this thing and then that guy? Yeah, that guy's gonna be mad at you as soon as you start doing this, but that's okay. Here's a question. What, yeah. do I have, what do I have equipped? Oh, yeah, that thing. What? The geomagnetic disc. Oh, yeah. Do you uh, you don't have to equip that. You could uh, equip a EMP grenade. It will EMP yourself, though. Just yeah, warning I you. I don't want to do that, do I? No, not necessarily. Grenades. Grenades. Grenade. Ooh, a handy nuke. Mm. There may be an opportunity in the later dungeon for you to use it, but... Definitely, that'll be later. All right, so. Is that from The Simpsons? It's kind of a song. That was Can't a very good that. move. I, you know what? I commend you 100% for that. I hadn't even considered that. You didn't pen, so therefore you're not enemies yet. That was some next level four dimensional chess shit right there, Galen. Honestly, I, 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 like, I know we've been using the hologram and it's a good idea every time, but I hadn't even thought of it this time. Are you I'm trying to even. shoot or you're charging? You're not close enough for confusion. That should be good enough. Don't, I don't think so. No, I think it wasn't close enough. I think I led you astray. Oh, golly. Sorry. You can charge him, though. Um, Be sure to use stunning force uh, at some point. Not now, but when they get close to you again. Where are, Where are you they going, going? Mister? I think they're taking the long way around to attack your hologram. Idiot. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. And um, don't forget about shield slam yes. when you get the chance. Do I have that? Might not, actually. There it is. You need to be next to them, though. Hmm. You should be able to walk next to them without taking damage because of your extra move speed. You can also juke. You oh, can't charge because you need to, yeah. Charge. There we go. Um, making you, making yeah. use of all of our moves, which is always good. Shield, Shield slam. slam. Knocked prone. Um, yeah, we could just Smack him a few times. Shield slams back off cooldown. Remain resisted. stunned. They resisted it, but they remain stunned. Hey. Did they juke you? There we go. Um, 
I forgot about the coiled, yeah. cult of the coiled lamb rep. That's actually pretty good reputation, but that's fine. We should be okay. Chill with Hermit. This thing, get out of here. This guy? Yeah, let's kill that. Um, I forget what they're called even. 3,700 XP, something. by the way. Strip fly. Nice. They have stuff. Fish jerky. Okay. Sure. Why not? Got him. You could consider we're now on fish jerky. Friendly with cats. I don't know if we're Did friendly I? enough. Not, but we're, we're we're in the positive now. We're getting there. Just neutral. Yeah. Should I take the cell out and then? Was there any blood on the floor that we can fill it with? Maybe. Mm, try not to step in it. You want to do space. Nah, it's brackish. Mm. Do we have a desalination pill? I guess we really don't want to no, be doing that. do not. Okay, let's um, move on for now. Like, this, it's still functioning as a shield. Also, we might want to wait 180 turns on the tomb, Tether. Uh, Stripfly just snagged your polyhedral rings. Uh, there's, they are going to be unequipped. Oh, you didn't even, dude didn't even pick them up. There you go. Good idea. Yeah, so we need, we need lots of time to, um, get to the next floor. This is a, this, this part's not going to be as time consuming as the first floor, but it is going to be kind of a mad dash. Okay. All right. So, um, we just need to go west. The next st set of staircases is on the other side of the tomb. And this, uh, the tomb has like second floor has like real Golgotha vibes for a number of reasons, but it has, um, there's one thing that makes it more dangerous. They snagged your semi-automatic pistol, not that we care. Ouch. Wind. Yep. The fans are a problem. What are those arms about? I don't know. I haven't really seen too much about those arms. I think they're just flavor, but let's not, let's not dabble. I'm on fire. Mm, did they grab anything of yours? No. Oh, they grabbed your flamethrower. Or at least they have a flamethrower. I don't know if that was your flamethrower. Yeah, I might want to stay on the conveyor belt to get even more movement speed. Nice. That was. Mm. Oh, Why? <laughs> it comes out of uh, it comes out of all orthogonal sides. I wouldn't rest too much because you're blowing through your time. Sixty turns. Okay. Did it. I was dying, and I couldn't stop it. There's no. Yeah, we're in a different entryway. Maybe this one will be a little bit nicer, a little bit kinder. Doubt it, though. We don't actually... well... wonder why we're taking so much damage, Jack. I was gonna say, we don't actually have to kill everything. We can just walk away from stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here, and then I'm gonna heal all the way up. All right. Is that like um, some interesting things going on over there?
Just get burnt up. Yeah, it did. Rude. I was gonna take whatever that was. <laughs> okay. Alright. Might as well wait, Shift. A, wait the hundred wait. turns. You're gonna do 99? Perfect. All right, we schmove. We be schmoving. Ugh. Ouch. That's not schmoving. That's flaming. We be flaming. We be on fire. Lots hey, of fans. Lots of fans. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. That was, that was timing. Ow. I'm just going to uh, leave. Yeah. It's a, not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, you're about to, yeah. Be fine? I'm about to be fine. No. That's what you were about to say. That's like the most dangerous part of Tomb of the Eaters that you just uh, encountered. Herberry's not a bad idea. You want to get out of where, you, like, sprint, maybe. Oh, you, you made it. You're fine. Cathedral's going to be very helpful here. Don't, don't sprint now. You're going to want to use that when it's apt. But you see those uh, arrows? Mm -hmm. That means they're about to squish. Those are squishers. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. They're, they're crunchers. They're crunchy. What you got, mister? Oh, God. No, uh, we, we don't really want to spend time on the crate proper. What is, okay. What's he got? He's got stuff. Uh, he's got some Hulk honey. We could really use that. And an herbary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's your artifact? It's probably a grenade. I'll take it. You never know. Uh, uh could use some a little bit of extra money. Um, I feel like I have some guns that are not as extreme. You can always buy that Taco Suprema if you need extreme. Like, if we did the flaming psionic flawless crystal, you could buy the uh, taco. Perfect. That worked out. Perfect. Thanks, Mister. What a place to do business. So you've got a number of spicy things. There's a data disk to your southeast. It's coming to you. What is that? Night sight. Night sight. I, th oh. I think something stole that from us. Yeah, I feel like a uh, strip fly grabbed that. Okay, okay so we so got to time go this right. Around. No, um, not really. Oh, God. Wow. There's a Can rocket turret there. We can't really break them for reasons. Strip fly is about to be squished, maybe? Never mind. Okay, we could go around. There is a rocket turret, but maybe that'll be easier to deal with. My oh, berries. Nice. My berries. So here's your option. Well. Charge. You want to charge that thing. Get yeah, we want to destroy that. I know it's going to be tempting to heal, but better to use it herbary instead of wasting a lot of time resting. And we keep we keep moving. Where's this fella? That's a mechanist. Hmm. Catechist. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. Okay, a little concerning about those fans. Not sure where they're going to dump us into. If we go south a couple times, we'll have a better idea of where they're going to dump us. Oh. I mean, that works too. 
Okay, this is going well. We've had a couple of close calls, but that's okay. The yeah, that guy stole your your still beard gland paste. There go. I think it got incinerated. Oh. That's fine. We don't even use that stuff anyway. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go. I mean, there's nothing there as long as there's no shoots. That's the good news. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we can go through that tile there. All right, we made it. That's, um... Do I care about these many things? Um, those are all, like, urns. We can look at those if you want. Uh, there's not really much to... There's, there's not a lot there. Actually, I mean, this is more lore, interestingly enough. Like, what what was what was it that we just walked through? We've got a bunch uh, of bones. A, a big, a big uh, cremation floor. Yeah. Honestly, it had never occurred to me before, but that wasn't a factory. It was literally for disposing with uh, of corpses. Burning and crushing and putting all the little bone dust. Yeah. And we have a bunch of empty urns here. <gasps> That's a light. An arc sconce. We're about to enter one of my favorite parts of the entire game. Um, okay, I'm still 140. Yeah, you're good. No. Lots to look at here. Cute. Hey, there, there's an eater. That's an eater. And that's an eater. Hmm. Um... So, uh, we are tomb tethered here, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we got to find ourselves a staircase up. Is this, are there booby traps? Can I just look around? There's no booby traps. You can look around if you want. This is basically just a, this is like the lowest tier of the Sultan graves. Like, these people don't really meet, matter much. They're the ones that would end up through the factory, right? Um, the first floor, the one that the Mopengo dwell on, that's the folk tubes. So they're even lower. They're not even, they're not even sultans. They're just, like, dumping grounds for, for dead. For the dead. Um, so, yeah, there's not, uh, we're not really seeing anything of much value here but very soon we're going to be seeing um like the the royalty like not sultans necessarily but like higher up true kin and eaters um the ones that would be implanted for instance or have you know goods and uh, like we're we're not even like this isn't even just a pyramid to one person this is like a pyramid grave tomb to like several very important people and uh it's going to reflect that so if we go da -da -da. if you saw that north side that would have been the other place we would have got dumped in mm. So it's it's gonna be more of the same. Ooh. While traveling through Hippodrome District Anecdote to stop at a tavern in Ekraruk Cave. There he lost his prized glacial paragon, the boon of newly sentient beings. In a game of dice, he cursed the tavern and left Ekaruk Cave. I like a uh, glacial paragon. Boon of newly sentient beings. That's like the most caves of cud thing ever. Oh, that was Historic site information. Amazing. There's information here. Deep in Mervatum, Antidote 3 was discovered Dugish Grotto, and there he befriended newly in setting beans and recorded the events of the last year of his life. Nice. 
on the night of a full moon, a scribe found a babe with an inquisitive, inquisitive inkwell in each hand outside her scriptorium. She and her fellow scribes adopted the babe and named him Antidote 3. Nice. Good job. Good for them. We're learning. We're learning We're so learning much. We're learning stuff. Boop. All right. So we enter the third floor of Tomb of the Eaters. Should I wait till it? Um, oh. there should be tomb tether on the on the sur uh, on the next floor. You can you'll see. It. And also, when you get to when the bell tolls, you won't get teleported to a different floor. You'll still be on that floor. All right. But yeah. Welcome to the third floor, Tomb of the Eaters. This is one of my favorite places. I was telling uh, Narf about um, you know you know Allen Gardens. And then wait. Yes, not Cullen's Gardens in Miniature Village. No, I haven't, I haven't been to that one, actually. Well, you go there for beautiful, magical fun, but... Oh? They, so they claim... I think it's closed down, so you can't do it anymore. Oh. Um, This place reminds me of Allen Gardens quite a bit. It's basically just a very pleasant garden, and there's lots of little robots that, like, clean the place um, and keep it pretty and pristine. And there's all kinds of plants and growth, but it's like pretty plants and pretty growth, you know, like this place is almost its own special Ooh. little biome. Leave me alone. There's also like, um, uh, I forget sometimes, um, holographic trees just to like, it's easier to maintain. So that's interesting. Right. We've that already got go? a staircase going up. Oh, right. So we've got three floors of this, I believe. I think. There's like a lot of this. Um, you're going to find out very quickly why it might be worth exploring every floor. But I get, we'll kind of get the impression that maybe you won't want to. Um, we'll see. Uh, if you want to check out one of those kind of uh, doors... There's going to be Tomb Tether on in those alcoves. And there's a reason for that. Oh, there is no Tomb Tether. Oh, yeah, there is. So there's no robot in there. Um... So we can wait out there. I guess we... It, two, we're at 260 rounds, so we've already... Waited out the bell. Oh. What's up? Mechanimus Corolla. There's a lot of, um, kudzu happening. Yeah, someone, uh, someone had, uh, I forget what the mutation is that creates plants. Just be careful, um, the only thing that can seriously do damage to you in those is if you accidentally walk or into one of the open graves they kind of look like little boxes uh they automatically shut and um and then they're very difficult to get out of potentially oh. impossible what's going on down there a ferret's killing some Perch. Yeah, so you want to put on your slip ring? Okay. No? Is it gone? Oh, there it is. Uh, we can get rid of the precinct navigator for now. Right. Um, yeah, the ferrets are a pain in the butt. They're not, like, they're not life-threatening by any means, but they are a pain. Oh, you shot. <laughs> I thought you were looking at them. You may notice something here. Hard to shoot. Yeah, that's definitely the thing to notice here. Do you see uh, it says Crypt Ferret flinches out of the way? Mm -hmm. So they're actually dodging your shots. They're super agile. They have enormous DV. And they're really, really hard to hit, especially with, by shooting. Um, you can take them on on melee, but you're going to notice something else. Yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, do you notice your new effect on Latched you? onto. Latched onto. Um, so that's why I suggested putting the slip 
is because that will give you a better chance of getting away from that. They're not super difficult to kill, but they do take a little while because they keep avoiding your attacks and they stop you from moving. And that's especially annoying when you're like trying to not get, you know, bell told. Ooh, wild rice. Actually, uh, okay. I was just thinking you know, we could uh, cook a meal real quick. You can just use water if you want. Oh, how about the... Okay, yeah. Too late. Too late. Um, why? Uh, well, I was going to say we have a drop of nectar and we're not inspired and we just got wild rice. Yeah, the crypts, the crypt ferrets are stopping you. Oh, I see. I see. You'll just have to walk to them. No, don't. Oh, I mean, there is that. Can they dodge out of the jet disc? Oh, yeah, they can still dodge the geomagnetic disc. Damn it. Rude. That really sucks. I'm just giving it a go. Uh, where did it say that? To your west right now. There's a little log. No, you're walking past it. South now. Oh, near all that kudzu. Yeah, don't worry about the kudzu. That's blood. That's just blood. Can we collect that, actually? We might have. Uh, I think it's bloody salt. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Click that. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, let's cook a meal. You're going to use uh, wild rice, um, drop of nectar, and cycle gland paste. Hope for the best here. Nothing happened. Reveal the secret to me. I have poison breath. Okay. Cool. Not what we were hoping for, huh? No, that's... I mean, the drop of nectar is a one in four chance of something nice happening. Yeah. The wild rice actually has a very small chance of killing you. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, you might not have done that if I told you that, huh? Hmm. It's... Uh, the percentage chance of dying from it is so small that it's not even really worth mentioning. But, I mean, I guess if you're on classic mode, it would be worth mentioning. I suppose we have done quite a bit, so, you know, we could... It would I'm going to go worth... up these stairs. Yeah, I figured that you were going to do that. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Is, should I not? No, yeah, go for it. Well, We've got a lot of this, and so, you know, exploring every floor is going to make this uh, take a long time. Um, we are kind of at the end of the episode, though. I don't know if you want to break see what's here. what's behind this door. Yeah, let's... Check out that door. Ah, you've got your first sultan door. It's not really a sultan. It's just like a a, a royalty. Yeah, oh, nice things, right? Bionic hands. They have cybernetics because they were true kin. But, um, yeah, you have invoked the wrath of their watchers. <laughs> Each, All right. each of these tombs comes equipped with a crypt sitter that ensures that what just happened does not happen. And they hit hard. You are, yeah, you're going to take quite a bit of damage. You do have, yeah, the ability to stun lock, which is why I didn't, like, pre-warn you. You can also herbary up. You have, uh, you have the means to kill these things, but they do kind of hit like a truck. <laughs> you just absolutely destroyed that tomb. Oh, I have uh, no respect. I would not run away from it. 
because it's going to pursue you forever. I was hoping to get some shots in. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, that works. They do have a range as well, though. Good to know. Where'd FYI. Go? I don't know. He stepped away for a second. Rude. Oh, he's Are they fighting the with a ferret, I wonder? No. Looks like it. There we go. Weird. I don't know why they get knocked away like that. Because I shield slammed him. Yeah, but they don't get knocked away when you shield slam. You're not going to be close. Yeah. I know. I knew. I knew that. Don't even worry about it. Damage. It's a really fun statue to yourself. Badly damaged. Very badly damaged. Nice. All right. All right. There's your first Crips hitter. Well done. Um, let's uh, call it there. If you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more of this. And we continue through the tomb for probably at least another couple of episodes. That's right. That's right. Uh, and use the code CUDBUDS for a discount on Galen's uh, commission if you want to check out their coffee link in the description. Yeah, or just give me money for nothing even. If yeah. you're like, you know what? He's spending all his afternoons doing this for our amusement. There is that. He doesn't get any cut of the ad revenues. Any cut uh, of the ad revenues? Any cut of the ad button news. <laughs> any cut. <sighs>